Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community that offers over 25,000 different classes in business design and more. So click the link down below to receive two months of unlimited access to Skillshare, absolutely free. And after that, it works out to be $10 a month. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now today, I'm going to be doing both a gadget review and a little taste test. So when I first learned about this little gadget and I shared it on social media, I knew I had to get my little mitts on it. So I contacted my friend Paul over at Critical Eats Japan, who resides in Japan, and he very graciously researched these and found them for me. So big thanks to Paul. Be sure to check him out on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel down below. So the gadget I was looking for is this one and this is called the potechi no te isn't this great it's a mini grapple that's used to pick up potato chips so you don't get your fingers dirty silly and brilliant right if you've ever eaten flaming hot cheetos before you know exactly what i'm talking about the residue that gets on your fingers and then you're like licking your fingers and you're like well that's kind of mostly clean well now you don't have to worry about this because you have a mini grapple to pick up your chips and keep your fingers nice and tidy this gadget was first introduced in 2010 and has been reintroduced and redesigned because now it includes a little stylus okay let me open this and show you what i'm talking about so here it is potechi no te it is made by takar tomi arts they are amazing they made the tkg machine that i use to make the tamago kake gohan if you haven't seen that video i'll put the link above and down below that was a brilliant machine that whipped up a raw egg to serve it on top of rice but just brilliant machine that worked really really well and that's what i really love about this company their build quality is sound this product was cross promoted with the big potato chip brand in japan kalbi and shows you right here that these are supposed to be eaten with the kalbi branded chips and this gadget comes in four different designs and they match the potato chips and thanks to paul he sent me the matching potato chips look at this yes we have italian flag and we have pizza potato chips we also have these pizza potato chips and look at this i could have won and look at this i could have won the spider-man version of this gadget so stinking cute with the red hand so let's go ahead and open this thing up so here it is on the back and it illustrates what it does it says it will not crush the potato chip we will confirm this during the taste test and then it shows that you can use your stylus, the back of the gadget. And this is a little interesting design here. So if you push this button forward, it's supposed to wiggle the fingers <laughs> on the grapple as if you're cleaning your fingers. And this kind of taps into the tradition of chindogu, which is this Japanese idea of an invention or an object that really doesn't have any use it looks like it has a kind of purpose but it really doesn't and i talked about that a little bit more in a video i did when mcdonald's was giving away this kind of french fry fork item and used the french fries to create the tines of a fork which was essentially useless because you can't really pick up anything with that fork but you could still eat the french fries so i guess it wasn't entirely useless but it looked like it had some kind of purpose so again, that's the idea of chindogu. So this rubbing of the fingers is kind of this useless but somewhat useful thing in an object. I find that really kind of charming. It has a little rest. So when we put our gadget down, the fingers remain clean and sanitary. They're not touching the table because there is a little rest there. Everything has been considered. I love that, very, very considerate. Slide this out. I love how this is designed very comically like Mickey Mouse's fingers. It's very cartoonish. It's like a gloved hand. There's a couple nubbins here. So we have a little bit of grip when we get our potato chip. Here is the rest. So when we put it down, it doesn't touch. It doesn't roll around. Here's our little stylus. Here is the action. If you push it down, the finger closes on the thumb. If you push it forward, <laughs> look what it does. The fingers wiggle. You know, like when you get that like potato chip residue on your finger and you're like, Ugh. that's what it's doing. It's so funny, I love it. So this is kind of like a simulacra. It's kind of simulating this sensation of wiping even though we're not 
really feeling it. So before we do our taste test, let me tell you a little bit more about Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community that offers over 25,000 different classes in business, design, and more. So whether you wanna fuel your curiosity or foster your creativity or your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. So a premium membership gives you unlimited access to classes and communities that are just right for you. You can receive and give feedback and you can have conversations with like-minded learners. So the class I'm taking right now is creative video storytelling and editing, making the most of stock footage with Nikki Stevens. Super useful if I forget to take a B-roll shot or if I need something to kind of link some ideas together, I can use stock footage. And I like this class because it's an entry-level class, it's made for beginners, but it offers techniques and tricks that are used in industry. So very useful for me. So join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare by clicking the link down below to receive two months of unlimited access absolutely free. After that, it works out to be $10 a month. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and taste our chips. Here's my little grapple gadget, all nice and clean. And Paul says this is the regular pizza potato flavor. It actually smells like the green can of Parmesan cheese. A little bit stinky, but I smell some basil in there as well. So they look a lot like Ruffles potato chips, kind of a fine tooth, a little bit of kind of light orange powder on them. And we're gonna use our little grapple here to pick one up. Oh, very easy. And it doesn't crush the potato chip. No matter how hard I push on the button, it doesn't crush the chip. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. All right, let me get a big chip. <laughs> so I poured them out on a plate so you could actually see the chips and see how the grapple actually picks them up. You can pick up multiple chips. You can pick up one chip. It actually is very delicate in its handling of the chip. Now imagine if you're actually eating this, you'd be grabbing them out of the bag like this. Oh my gosh, that's a big chip. It's funny, my immediate response is that I wanna use my fingers to pick up potato chips. It's kinda of strange to actually be using this kind of tool to be eating my chips. Although when I used to eat Flaming Hot Cheetos a lot back in college, I would use chopsticks because I didn't like getting all that red stuff all over my hands. So this isn't so far removed. Itadakimasu. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's kind of uncanny. That tastes a lot like frozen pizza. It's just a tiny bit sweet. It has that nice, salty, savory flavor, very cheesy and dairied, but it has a little bit of that kind of basil oregano flavor that's reminiscent of pizza. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course we have the base, which is a potato chip, which is fried and has a great potato flavor in it. Great combination of like cheese, pizza flavor, and potato. I love that it's kind of unabashedly kind of artificial frozen pizza flavor. I think it's absolutely appropriate for potato chips. Delicious. Let's get the monster chip. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now let's rub our fingers. <laughs> That's so funny. Now let's try this flavor. This is also a pizza flavor. This is pizza margarita flavor. Hmm, it smells a lot like the other one. So this is really common for a lot of Japanese chips. You actually see the toppings on the chip. It's not just like some magic powder. So they almost look kind of like nachos. All right, let's give this a taste. It is different. This one tastes a little bit sweeter. I think the pizza margarita, although a margarita doesn't traditionally have garlic on it, tastes a little garlicky to me. Hmm, I like that one too. Although the first one, to me, tastes more like a Celeste microwave pizza, which is great in its own right. Both are good. Mm hmm. <laughs> so let's test out the stylus. I'm gonna, oh, I think I have to touch these two parts right here. Oh yeah, see, look at that. You have to touch these two metal parts for the stylus to actually work. If 
you don't touch these two metal parts, it's not conductive. <laughs> so, Japanese, and let's, so it totally works. Like we could use that, and then we can use, look at that. It's kind of bulky, but it, it's really smart. I don't have to put greasy fingers on glass. You know, that kind of heebie-jeebie feeling where you're like, I'm touching my phone with grubby fingers. Not anymore. <laughs> The next potato chip flavor I'm gonna be tasting is this, and this is teriyaki chicken pizza. Mmm, this one smells similarly cheesy as well. All right. And like the others, it's got this kind of nacho cheese thing going on. You've got actual melted cheese on there. Mmm, that's interesting. Doesn't quite taste pizza-like, Definitely potato chippy and cheesy. Hmm, tastes a little bit like chicken bouillon, a little bit sweet, savory. Kind of tastes like mustard, not like spicy mustard, but you know, French's yellow mustard. Whoa, look at the Mondo chip. Ooh. Ah, yep, it has trouble once the chip starts to get really large, it can't quite support the weight. Ah. <laughs> not sure I like that one. That's an odd potato chip flavor. It's not bad, but I definitely like the pizza themed one better. And the last one I have is this one. And this is mentai mayo. Mentai or mentaiko are the fish roe of Pollock fish. And mayo, of course, is mayonnaise. And this too is another pizza flavor you can find in Japan. The combination of mentaiko along with pizza or pasta is a pretty common one. You can also find shrimp on pizza as well. Ooh, these ones are much darker in color. That's not surprising because mentaiko has a beautiful red orange color. These ones smell quite cheesy too, with a slight kind of seafood smell to it. Let's give these ones a go. Mmm, that's very rich, very cheesy and dairied, with just a slight little, almost kind of seaweedy flavor to it. Mm-hmm. It actually reminds me a little bit of uni, which is sea urchin, absolutely delicious. It's got that rich kind of creaminess and the slight ocean brininess, not stinky or shrimp chip-like. Very, very rich and dairied though, almost like a sour cream and cheddar chip in that way. And there's definitely some butter flavor in there as well. So a very unusual combination of dairy flavors, butter flavors, and a slight little bit of kind of seaweed oceany flavor in there. Not bad. So of the four flavors, I think I like the original pizza potato flavor best. Margarita, close second. This one is good. The other two, maybe because I'm not familiar with these as much as pizza flavors, I don't really have that association with pizza. These ones definitely for sure. And this little gadget gets a thumbs up as well. Really fun, delightful, and it works. I find that the most interesting design flaw of this is that there is no wrist, so it doesn't bend. Our wrist bends and we can put things in our mouth easily, but because this is straight, it's a bit awkward to use. But it is a potato chip grapple after all that has the finger rubbing action <laughs> and a stylus to keep your phone clean. So there you have it, Potato no Te, the gadget that keeps your fingers clean while eating potato chips. Big thanks to Paul for procuring these items for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Be one of the 7 million creators learning with Skillshare by clicking the link down below to receive two months of unlimited access absolutely free and after that it works out to be about $10 a month. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care. Bye.